It's that time. It is time. It is home brew Wednesday. Yeah, baby. It's a big glass of homebrew, because it's Homebrew Wednesday, a late edition from SJ Poor. How's everybody doing out there? Happy Homebrew Wednesday to y'all. I hope you're enjoying your day. <sighs> I'm enjoying one of my two dogs licking Scottish Hales. Very much enjoying it. So, what do we have going on this week? Last last evening on Wednesday, we have our we actually have our homebrew uh, brew club meeting last Wednesday of every month. So that's why I wasn't able to get a homebrew Wednesday video posted for that. I was going to take the camera down and, tr and do a. Uh, do a homebrew Wednesday video down there however I had to go directly from work to a business meeting <clears throat> I had to grab something to eat and then get over to uh, for the for the meeting last night so I wasn't able to get things together and, and whatnot I took down I took my uh, fucking brown ale uh, I took my logger down and I took, you're going to have to excuse me, my head's all, my head and chest is all clogged up right now. So I'm sounding, I, I feel like I sound like I'm talking out of a box. <clears throat> but I took my fucking nut, uh, blah, blah, blah. I took my fucking brown ale down, my premium lager, and an oatmeal stout. Those are the three that I took down to the meeting. Uh, the fucking nut, the, the fugging brown ale, I keep want to say nut brown, it is a nut brown, but it's not, it's more of a brown ale than it is a nut brown. Uh, that was a pretty big hit, everybody seemed to really like that. Um, the lager, which I wasn't really expecting a whole lot out of that, uh, turns out, that was kind of, uh, was a fairly decent hit, uh, the oatmeal stout, not so much, but I was expecting that because that was still fairly young. That's only been in the bottle for a little, well, almost two months, but that's not near enough time for, for a stout. I won't let that thing sit in the bottle for a while. It'll get better as time goes on. I am a little bit, uh, for some reason on the oatmeal stout, and I wasn't shooting for this, but it happened. Um, it's got a real coffee to me it's got a coffee flavor to it and where that came from I don't know um, I haven't been able to figure that out if I was to give somebody the beer and say hey I brewed a coffee stout they'd be like hey that's a damn good coffee stout however that's not where I was going with it I was just I was brewing a stout you know no meal stout I wanted it to have a lot more body you know what not be uh, more just like a straight stout but Hey, it is what it is. That's why it's called homemade beer, right? Absolutely. I was a little kind of surprised at my premium lager. Now, I've been talking with a couple of you guys about my premium lager. I know uh, Hokie Homebrew did one. We actually both did ours at about the same time. It was funny. I mean, we didn't collaborate on it at all, uh, but it just turned out that we were both trying to do a... Um, a light lager, you know, or something of that nature, like a premium lager, and uh, <laughs> and uh, well, I, I don't want to say, you know, it, his came out not exactly the way he wanted it. Mine came out not exactly the way I wanted it. With that said, it's not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer. Or something. It's I was what I was shooting for was uh, making a really light body, thin, like a watered down lager. And uh, what I ended up with, and really I was, uh, 
I, I, it's like I, I've always got to go big with these beers. Always got to go big. It ended up being, uh, I guess it's five percent, but I was only shooting for for four. You know, maybe three, four percent. <sighs> And I, I went way over with it. So my grain bill was a little bit big. I need to water it down. But, uh, let me see, I wet my whistle. Anyways, so I, I bottled two six packs of it and I kegged the rest. Now the keg's been in you know, the fridge for a while. To me, it's too sweet. Um, it's got a lot of body to it. It's full flavored, full bodied, and a little on the sweet side out of the keg. Now, with that said, the two six packs that I bottled and I used those little carbonation pills taste different than what's in the keg. Now, I do notice that, you know, the, the beer, I think beer out of the keg tastes way better than, than the bottled beer. It always seems to. Um, but there's a distinct difference. It's that the bottled uh, lager is actually um, a little less body, a little less sweet. It's more along the lines of what I was shooting for, but um, it's the same beer. So I don't know. I don't know why it actually ended up that way. But it did, so well, I mean it, it's a work in progress. That's why I call it my work in progress premium lager. It goes, hey, you know, I'm going to make it again. I'm going to play around with it. Uh, I'm going to uh, bitter it up a little bit, put some uh, <clears throat> some more hops in it, and maybe water it down a little bit, and uh, try and keep. Excuse me. Try and keep control stuck right there ah, there we go try and get control of my uh, uh, of my uh, temperatures a little bit better this time with fermentation so next on tap not on tap next on board whatever you want to call it for brewing is I'm doing a double batch of my fucking brown ale um, I like that so much I'm going to do a double batch. I want to bottle a whole batch of it. And I, I want to put another one in the keg. I just thoroughly enjoyed that beer. Um, and then after that I'm probably going to do another two dogs because this thing goes away. I've got people wanting growlers and whatnot of it. So I could have this beer on tap all the time. I seriously could. Exceptionally nice. Uh, if you can see, yeah, see you can see through it. It's nice and clean. This is my big 22 ounce glass. Nice beer, very nice beer. But anyways, the fucking brown ale is on store to go uh, next in the brew. I'm going to be brewing up another uh, another hooch, uh, hard lemonade. Um, I think I'm going to get one of my ciders out, put it in the fridge for next week's homebrew Wednesday and see if I you know, do a little bit of a tasting on that. I haven't had one of my ciders in quite a while. So, uh, got some brewing going on. Great videos out there of everybody else really digging homebrew Wednesday. Everybody's uh, always got good stuff on and I'm always seeing stuff and it's like, it's like gives you those aha moments. It's like, oh! I didn't think about that. And that's what Homebrew Wednesday is all about. Sharing ideas, sharing what you got going on, because brewing, after all, it's a learning process. We're always learning what to do, trying to make ourselves a little bit better. So, yeah, I went alone for enough tonight, or today, or whatever. I'm going to sit back here and relax a little bit and uh, start watching some Homebrew Wednesday videos. Anyways, this is SJ Poor from Little Face Brewing. Wishing you all a happy homebrew Wednesday. And remember, enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. And brew beer. <laughs> Cheers.